Welcome to part two of this screencast series on creating a tag cloud with PHP and MySQLi. In the last video, we created our index.php, we set up the structure, and we worked on our open and closed database files. So to get started today, let's open up the view and let's add some basic HTML in place. So I have a little shortcut that does this, but just pause the video if you need to. So I have tag cloud as the title. And within the body, it stays pretty simple. We have an H1 tag, which I put tag cloud again. We have two H2s, one that says list. And another one that says cloud. And then just below each of those H2s, we have a PHP statement, which echoes out a variable that we'll be creating in a minute or two, called data. The one under cloud is data tag cloud, like so. I'm just gonna copy and paste this above. And instead of tag cloud, we're gonna use tag list. That's the basic HTML. One other thing that I want to do is add in some basic CSS styling. And you'll see the results of the styling in a couple minutes. But this is just some basic stuff to style our content in a semi-attractive way. So we have table. And I'm going to give it a width of 340 pixels and a border collapse of collapse. And then we're also going to do some styling of the tag cloud. And we're going to use a tag cloud class for that. I'm going to give it a margin 0, a padding of 20 pixels all around, a width of 300 pixels and a border of one pixel solid black. And then finally a little bit of text styling. We're going to give it text align of center and a fixed line height of 2.8 m's, like so. Now within this tag cloud class, we have a couple other things that we want to style. We want to style any list items within it to use display inline, like so. And we're going to give it a margin right of 10 pixels. Any links within this, we're going to make sure the padding, it, see? The padding re is reset to zero. And finally, we're going to do a little bit of styling to enable different sizing of links in this tag cloud. So we're going to have a couple different CSS classes. And they're all going to have a different font size. In case the first one will be 0.7m, a font weight of 100. And we're going to have 10 of these tags from tag 1 to tag 10. And let me quickly rename this 10. And each of these different classes will have a slightly different font size and font weight. So 0.7m. 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 1m, 1 1.2, 1.4, 1.6, 1.8, 2.2, and finally 2.5. And then a couple other changes. 200, 300, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and the last two are 900. So this will give us different font sizes 
different font weights for the tags within our tag cloud. With our view finished, let's go back to tagcloud.model here, and let's get to work on this. So I'm going to start off just with the standard PHP tags, and for this model, I'm going to be using a little bit of object-oriented PHP, and I've chosen this particular method because it allows me an easy way to encapsulate my code, makes my code clean, and it makes it much easier to reuse in the future. So for the model, I'm going to actually have, I'm going to create an object for this. So it's going to be class tag cloud model, like so. And we're going to have a couple of variables in this model that we want all of these model functions to be able to access. So I'm going to have a var mysqli, like so. I'm going to have a var tags, which is going to be an array of arrays, which I'll explain in a little bit, but it's going to contain multiple arrays with an ID, a name, and a total. And excuse me, this should be in a comment, like so. And I just leave a comment so it makes it easy for me to remember what this will contain. And finally, we have a var that we're going to call largest. And it's going to contain the number of times that the most popular tag has been used. So, okay, we have the start of our object. We have our class. Let's include the initializing function. And it's construct with two underscores underneath it. And I'm going to pass in a con variable which is going to stand for a connection and I'm going to set the MySQL I variable that we just created here. I'm going to set that and I access it using this and the arrow operator to indicate it's within this object. And I'm going to set that equal to the connection variable that we passed in. Okay, so that's what we have so far. Now Every time we load this model and we create an object called, you know, with a tag cloud model, we're going to assume that we want to use tags in some way. So I'm going to create a get tags function that we're going to be able to use in multiple functions within this object. So what I'm going to start by is when this object is constructed, we're going to get the tags and the largest value, the largest value being, we're going to set this largest variable here. So this, and we're going to call it get tags function, like so. Okay, and then of the following functions, we're going to have two different types. So I'm going to split them up with a comment just so it's easy for me to read this. I'm going to include utility functions and I just break it up like this. It's just what I do to make it a little bit visually easier for me to read my code. So I'm going to have utility functions and then I'm going to have what I call display functions. Maybe you'll call it something slightly different. But utility functions are functions such as get tags, which we're going to use multiple times in other functions within this object. So I'm going to do function get tags, like so. And then I'm also going to create two functions here within display functions. One we're going to call function get tag list. And the other one we're going to call get tag cloud. Like 